I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world is the second of the seven I am statements of Jesus. We covered the first one which is I am the bread of life in part one of the great I am. Light is an image of both holiness and illumination. But most significantly light characterizes Jesus for he is the light of the world according to John 8 verse 12. Then spoke Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Here Jesus was using the analog of festival rituals for his role as the Messiah. As part of this major festival, lamps would be lit using wicks made from priestly garments. In addition, light was a powerful metaphor in that culture for Psalms 84 verse 11 says, For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. Meaning the Lord is the sun, the great light, the fountain of light, the light of the worlds that dispels darkness, and makes the day that gives light to all the celestial bodies, the moon and stars. He is the sun that enlightens us with the light of grace to warm us with the beams of his love. He cheers us and refreshes our souls with the light of his countenance. Jesus the light of the world makes us fruitful and causes us to flourish and at the same time he is a shield to protect us from our enemies. He is the shield of faith and the shield of salvation which secures us from the wrath to come. As believers we need to receive Jesus and accept him as a light which can enlighten every compartment of our lives. According to Psalms 119 verse 105, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. Jesus Christ, who is the Word of God, is an inextinguishable lamp to guide you and me along our path, and is a radiant light that banishes the shadows of uncertainty by illuminating the next step in his sin-soaked world. Jesus is the light of truth that leads us away from every shadowy danger that crosses our path and strengthens our faith. He is the light of truth that lifts any darkness before us and it brightens every corner of our lives. Wherever Jesus went, he brought light to that area. Matthew 4 verse 15 and 16 says, The land of Zebulun, and the land of Naphtali, by the way of the sea beyond Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. The people which sat in darkness saw great light, and to them which sat in the region and shadow of death, light is sprung up. Daniel 2 verse 22 says, He reveals deep and hidden things. He knows what is in darkness, and the light dwells with him. And Micah 7 verse 8 also says, Rejoice not over me, O my enemy, when I fall. I shall rise when I sit in darkness. The Lord will be my light. In that society, light was the ultimate ideal. It was a representation of salvation, knowledge and goodness. The declaration or the claim that Jesus made to be the light of the world was no small thing. In other words, Jesus was saying and declaring to them that he is God. He is God the Son and he came to earth to shed the light of the Father to the far-flung corners of the universe. He is the shining light that enlightens the darkened soul of man. 
Jesus is that gentle light that pours warmth into the chilled human heart. He is that gracious light that streams eternal love into broken lives. He is the light that shines in darkness, bringing life, according to John 1 verse 4 and 5. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Believers who respond and accept Jesus into their lives are rescued from the realm of darkness to become children of the light, according to Ephesians 5 verse 8. For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Believers share a place in the kingdom of light and they become lights in this dark world, according to Colossians 1 verse 12. Giving thanks unto the Father, which has qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. The Apostle Paul mentions light, which is an important part among his people because light symbolized goodness and all knowledge while sin and ignorance is characterized by darkness. By virtue of inviting this light of the world, who is Jesus, he will shine through your life. Believers are to reflect Jesus and declare his praises. Matthew 5 verse 14 You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. While he was on earth, Jesus was the light of the world. But we have been made ambassadors of God and have been entrusted with the message of truth and gospel of grace. We have been empowered by the indwelling Holy Spirit to shine forth the light and truth of God and expose the works of darkness. We are to radiate the light of God's love and truth into the lives of those with whom we come into contact with. Spiritually speaking, there is no light in the world apart from Jesus Christ, and it is important that this light be visible to the whole world. His light shines through every person who belongs to him. In this way, the light of Christ is distributed through us believers into every corner of humanity as believers, we are not to put our light under a bushel, but to put it where it can be seen and provide light to everyone. Jesus adds to this metaphor by referring to a city positioned on top of a hill, which is not meant to be hidden. A city on a hill is supposed to be seen and found even in the darkness of the night. During the time of Christ, the walls around the city on a hill were often made from white limestone, which would be relatively easy to be seen even in the dim night. In the same way, the light of Christ in the lives of his followers is meant to shine out brightly, not to be covered. It is meant to be discovered and seen. Jesus in his sermon told his believers that they were the salt and the light of the world. This is why it is important for believers to do good works in order to be effective as the light of the world so that all who see will give glory to God. When Jesus walked this earth, he was the light of the world and he said in John 9 verse 5, As long as I am in this world, I am the light of the world. He was the true light from heaven, and he gave light to all. His light shone into the eyes of the blind who received their sight. The light of his glorious gospel of grace shone into the hearts of those who believed. God is light and he lives an unapproachable light. He has placed his spirit of light into our hearts to lead us 
in the right path. Let us walk in the light as he is in the light, and may the light of his presence within your heart and my heart shine through our lives to proclaim to all we meet. That the glorious gospel of grace that has been shed abroad in our hearts and lives May God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who have taken us out of the kingdom of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of light, use us to reflect the true light of Jesus that lights all those that come into the world.